Did you know that the number of new cancer cases every year is increasing dramatically and no region of the world is an exception to that trend? The International Agency for Research on Cancer that collects all the cancer information is predicting that over the next 25 years we will have 500 million new cancer patients. So this is overburdening our healthcare systems in terms of resources, not just money, but also highly specialized healthcare workers that are needed. And it is so sad because four out of ten of these cancers could be avoided with rigorous implementation of cancer prevention. So we say it is the 11th hour to enforce rigorous primary cancer prevention. And for this, we asked experts from around the world to put their knowledge together that we publish now in a special issue of molecular oncology. So I'm asking my co-guest editor, Dr. Carolina Espina, what information do we find in this special issue and why is it an absolute must read? Tobacco smoking is still the major cause of cancer. Fortunately, tobacco control policies under the WHO Framework Convention on Tobacco Control are showing success at halting the smoking epidemic. Workers' protection and reduction of exposures in the workplace are possible by rigorously implementing preventive interventions. Environmental measures to tackle air pollution and improve transportation and food production will have significant co-benefits in mitigating climate change. How to deal with declines in vaccination coverage and misinformation is an urgent topic. Cervical cancer prevention recently received a boost from the WHO Global Strategy to eliminate it as a public health problem. Other major contributors to cancer are overweight, unhealthy diet, physical inactivity and sedentary behavior, as well as alcohol consumption. Overarching themes are the implementation gap between recommendations and their application, as well as aligning individual and structural prevention measures. Enjoy. <laughs> 